Good evening, everyone. The Detroit Red Wings have signed NMU goalie Jared Corot to a three-year entry-level contract. The team announced the move today. The 21-year-old Corot started all 38 games for the Wildcats this season. He had a 2.70 goals against average and a 919 save percentage. Corot had seven teams interested in his services after the Wildcats season ended. He becomes the second collegiate player to sign with the Red Wings in the past week, joining the defenseman Danny DeKazer from Western Michigan University. On your TV6 early news we interviewed the parents of St. Cloud State defenseman Kevin Gravel who will be involved in the Frozen Four coming up next week in Pittsburgh and former Michigan Tech goalie Cam Ellsworth will also be at the Frozen Four next week. Ellsworth is in his second season as an assistant coach for the Riverhawks of Massachusetts Lowell. In his first season he helped reduce UML's goals against average by a goal and a half per game. Ellsworth played 117 games for Michigan Tech from 2001 through 2005 making more than 3,500 saves. It's a very good start for the Keweenaw Storm under 19 girls hockey team at the National Tournament in San Jose, California. Kimberly Harder scored just 22 seconds into the game with an assist from Kenafari to give the Storm a 1-0 lead over the Lake Forest, Illinois Falcons. Selena Stromer would get the first of her two goals in the second period and Keweenaw went on to win 4-0. This is pool play, so they have another game tomorrow, 4.30 Eastern time in San Jose, California against the Charles River Blue Blazers from Massachusetts. Michigan Tech basketball player Allie Hadar, another first team All-American mentioned this time by the Bulletin out of Beaverton, Oregon. He is on the first team along with players from schools uh, like Winona State and Western Washington. Don't know them, but Ali's still good. And the Detroit Lions have agreed to a two-year contract with veteran defensive tackle C.J. Mosley. He had played with Jacksonville. Oh, thanks, Mike.